Okay. Come on, cows. Come home to me. What do cows have to do with Star Wars, Mark? Uh, probably nothing. Okay, looks like Luke changed his name again. Yeah, it looks like that he's using his now. I want to know uh, 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 who that character is uh, from right there, because I, I don't see the character uh, Wait, I know it's a me. I don't know which me it is, though. coming back or Smash Brothers. It depended on what the theme was for Splatoon 3 and to be honest, I don't like what they're going for for it, so Smash it is for that week. I won't be here without one. Oh yeah, because Edman's going to be uh, on his trip at that point. Well, uh, hopefully it will be a, a nice one for us. Oh, two stars in a row. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. Once I do uh, find out about the information about the news and the press popularity of Spawn, it's Splatoon 3. It all just depends on whether or not I want to uh, participate in that. I know I'm not going to participate in it.
I think the only Nickelodeon show that I ever remembered watching regularly was the uh, Jimmy Neutron one. Why? And that's only because YTV up here in the uh, in Canada broadcasts a lot of the Nickelodeon content. So. Nice. I also I also do know that the uh, Barry Oppers and Jimmy Neutron uh, had a few crossovers together. Actually, no, I take that back a little bit in terms of, uh, in terms of the Jimmy Neutron being the only Nickelodeon thing I watched regularly. Uh, that Double Dare revival they had, uh, a few, several years ago, I did watch, uh, that, uh, a fair bit, too, so. Yeah, I say that that particular version of Double Dare watched all of it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, from what I remember, the, uh, from the, uh, little bit of clips that I think I might have seen from the original one, the, uh, parents weren't exactly the brightest in the bunch. Are they more? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure Timmy's dad was, uh, pretty stupid a lot of the time. If any of you guys are aware of So you were saying about the uh, original version of uh, Cosmo and Wanda? Oh, 
and then there was another video that I saw uh, earlier today where the person was uh, discussing rumors of the possibility of uh, of uh, a Kirby Wii U game coming to the Switch. In this case, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. And, and I'm like, how in the world would they pull that off? Because from what I remember, you had to use the uh, stylus to control Kirby in that one. Yeah, but my thinking is that if that game does actually end up coming to Switch, like, how would they work the, how would they do the controls for it? Because the Switch doesn't have a stylus. So, they would have to rework the controls for a lot of the functions in that. And 
that's one, one set win for me. Ah, ah, ah.